Hello and welcome all. My name is Khanam and in this tutorial we are going to learn about PHP CRUD. Okay, I am just creating complete series on this PHP CRUD. Okay, CRUD C stands for create, R stands for read, U stands for update and D stands for delete. Okay, in this series we are going to learn completely about how to create database, how to read data from the database, how to update the data and how to delete the data from the database. And also we will see how to insert the data into database, how to insert checkboxes data, how to insert select data options. Okay, we are going to learn completely about this in particular series. This will be my first video in this PHP CRUD series. In this we are going to see how to create database and also we are going to design our form. Okay, so let's get started. Before moving further, you just have to install XAMPP and you have to start Apache and MySQL. Okay, Apache will be acting as local server for PHP and MySQL is the database which I am using in this project. Now once you have started this one, just open XAMPP wherever you have installed XAMPP, just open that directory, come inside XAMPP and inside htdocs create one folder. You can see here inside htdocs I have created one folder series CRUD. Okay, just right click on this and open with code. Okay, here I have already opened my VS code editor. And here if you see I don't have any files, we will be writing the code completely from the scratch and we will understand completely about CRUD. Now I'm just going to close this. Now inside this folder, I'll just create one file. I'll give my file name as index.php. Now inside this file, I'll be using bootstrap. Okay, so that we don't focus much on styling part. I'll just come to bootstrap website. Here I'll be searching for bootstrap. I'll just click on this first link. Get started. And here I have the starter template. I'll just copy this one. And here inside this index.php, I'll be pasting that template here. Okay, I'm just going to remove this. I'll be removing JavaScript from here. And also till here, I'm just going to remove this. I'll just save this. I'll copy this path. Now inside my browser, I'm just going to paste the path. Now I'll just remove this entire thing till here and I'll be writing local host. You can see here I have this output hello world and also my title is changed to hello world. Now if you see here, okay, my title is hello world and my h1 is hello world. Now I'll just remove this. First I'll create div and for this div I'll be giving the class name as container. Okay, these are bootstrap classes. Now inside this container I'll be pasting the form. I'll just come to bootstrap website. Now inside bootstrap website here, here I have this forms. I'll just click on this and here I have this form control. Now inside this, I'll just copy this form. Okay, this form, whatever I you can see here, this entire basic form, I'll just copy this and here I'll be pasting that form. I'll just format the document. I'll just right click on this and format HTML in PHP. Now from here, I'm just going to remove this, this diff container. I'll just remove this diff container from here. Now inside this diff container, I'll just remove this for and this, I'll just remove this for from here. Type, I'll just give here text. Placeholder, I'll just remove. I'll just give here enter. Enter your name. And also I'm going to remove this ID. If you want, you can keep. I'll just write here F name. I'll just write first name. Enter your first name. I'll just save this. Now if I show you the output, you can see here I'll be having this first name label and I have this input field here. Now for this container, I'm just going to give some margin from top and bottom. I'll just give M MY5. I'll just refresh this. Now here I have this form. Now in the same way, I'm just going to copy this entire container and here I'll be pasting that container one, two, three, four times I'll be pasting. Instead of first, I'll just give here last type text and here also I'll be giving last. Here I'll just give email. Instead of text, I'll be giving email and also here I'll be giving email. I'll just remove this and here I'll just give email. Now here I'll be giving mobile. Here also I'll give mobile and here also I'll be giving mobile. 
now I'll just remove this. I'll save this. Now if I just refresh this, you can see I have this first name, last name, email and mobile. I'll just come and I'll change to capital L. I'll save this. Now below this, I want one button. So here I'll be creating button. And for this button, I'll be giving the class name BTN, BTN. I'll just give here BTN dark. And inside this, I'll just give the text as submit. I'll save this. Now if I just show you the output, you can see I have my button here. For this, I'm just going to give one more class. I'll be giving BTN LG so that I'll be getting larger button. Now if I refresh this one, you can see my button is larger now. And also I'll be giving margin, margin from top and bottom, I'll just give MY3. I'll just refresh this. Now here I have this button. I have this first name, last name, email, mobile and submit button. Okay, this is the basic form in this series now we are going to update this one we will be adding some more fields like we will be adding gender we will be adding how to insert the data of checkbox value how to insert the data of select value okay we are going to learn one by one now this is the basic setup first we will understand this one and then in series we are going to learn that one now once i am done with this setup i am just going to create database Okay, just type php localhost php my admin and you will be redirected to this php my admin dashboard. I'll just click on new on my left side. I have new just click on that here. I'll give the database name as cred series. I'll just create. You can see here my cred series database has been created. Now inside this I'll be creating table. I'll give my table name as series cred okay i'm just reversing the database name and here number of columns here if you see i have first name last name email mobile total four columns but here i should be inserting five because for id also i need one particular column so here i'll be giving five i'll just click on go now here i'll be having the structure of table first i'll just give id second i'll be giving first name i'll just give f name here I'll be giving L name that is that stands for my last name. Next I have email. Next I have email and finally I have mobile. Here I'll just give email and here I'll be giving mobile. Okay, this is the structure. Okay, these are my column names and here I'll just give the data types for F name I'll be giving varchar for L name last name I'll be giving varchar. Pa email also I'll be giving varchar and mobile I'll give varchar. Now length I am going to give 100 for my first name, 100 for my last name, email I will give 255 and mobile I will just give 20. Okay, these are the lengths. By default, if you don't give length for integer, it will be 11. I will just come here. Here AI, you can see here AI. AI stands for auto increment. I will just click on this and this will be assigned primary. Okay, which means that each time I don't have to insert ID value, it will be assigned automatically and it is going to increase by 1. Once I get this primary key, which means that my ID value is unique in this entire database. Okay, this is the stable structure. I have just created five fields here ID, F name, L name, email and mobile. I have just changed the data types. I have given the length and I have just given auto increment to my ID field, which means that I am just telling that it is the primary key. Now here I you will be having this save. Just click on the save and your table will be created. Now you can see here I have this table structure. I have this ID name, L name, email and mobile. Okay, for integer you can see by default I am having the size as 11 and this key what you can see is which means that it is primary key. Now here I have all these fields with the data type and length. Okay, now we are done with creating our database and also we have created the table. Now we will see how to connect to our database. Now here I will just create one file. I will give my file name as connect connect.php now inside this file first i'll open this php syntax and here i'll be closing this one here i'll just create one variable i'll give my variable name as connection that is con now you can give any variable name here i'll just give this my sql i connect and inside this first i'll be giving this localhost that is my server localhost here i'll be giving root that is my username and password by default it will be empty if you have not changed your password while you are installing XAMPP but here I have changed my password so I am just giving the password 
this is my password and finally here we have to give our database name okay my database name is you can see here i have this cred series i'll just write the database name cred series okay now once you have defined this one you have to check if my okay if it is true just print me to print something in php we have to write echo here i'll be writing connection successful if i get some error i'll just write in else i'll just use this die method and inside this i'll be writing this mysql i error and inside this i'm just going to pass the error error and here i'll just write this connection variable dollar con i'll just change my password this is not my password attach 1212 i'll save this now i'll just copy this path now in my browser i'll just open new tab and here i'll just paste that one and from here i'm just going to remove this and here i'll just give here local host if i get this one okay if i get this connection successful this echo which means that i am successfully connected to my database and i am ready to insert update delete whatever i have the data inside the database i am ready to do all the operations okay if i don't connect to my database here i am just throwing an error and it will show me an error now i'll just refresh this one oh sorry i'll just paste that link here and here i'll just write here local host i'll enter you can see i got this output connection successful which means that i am successfully connected to my database now in place of this okay if i just remove something from here if i'll just give here rot i'll refresh this now you can see i'll be getting this error you can see here the root local host using password is okay this error you will be getting so to avoid this errors you should be very specific with this okay you should write correct data here local host root if you have not given any password if you have not changed your password then it will be empty you don't have to write anything inside this password i have changed my password so i am just writing my password here and this is my database name okay here i am just checking that condition and i got this output now if i just refresh this i'll be getting connection successful now in our next tutorial we are going to see how to include this connect.php inside index.php and also how to insert the data inside the database okay now that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day